Just keep your eyes closed, please. As you are, seeing these verses, by now we should be able to see and be the truth that is revealed there. When Ishwara says, I, at once both the immediate meaning and the implied meaning, like in yourself, when you open your mouth and you say the word I, you are immediately revealing your body, your senses. To be conscious, to be yourself, you don't need to say I, or even think as I. Being yourself doesn't need a thought, a word or a name. Yet to communicate, to describe, you need the words, you need the thoughts. As even at once, you see both the immediate name and form and the implied nameless, formless, so also Ishwara. Bhumi rapo nalo vayu kham mano buddhi revaj ahankaraiti yam apara prakruti ashtadha yam apara All five elements, total mind, intellect, individuality. Itas tuvanyam, other than these elements, manovuddhi ahankar, whatever is left behind, you want to name it, name it paraprakruti. You can't name the nameless, just to contrast. You give a name, like naming the silence, all the sounds it is not. If you want to name it, you have to take the help of the sounds only, and you name it silence. But the name doesn't describe, nor it creates what it stands for. Same way, yourself, the Paraprakruti. Whatever is left behind, after the five elements, Mano, Buddhi, Ahankar. Ra prakruti dividhi. Jiva bhutam mahavaho. In all the beings it exists. 
by which the whole universe is sustained. See it for yourself. Thereafter, your body doesn't stand alone or isolated. At once, related to the totality. As even just see that the wave never stands apart from the ocean. We may call it a wave. It's always an inseparable part of ocean. Just like a cell in your body. You may call it a brain cell or a kidney cell. It's a part of a macrocosmic cellular organism. It's a macro cell. You're part of the total body. Same way individual. appears to be independently moving about. There is nothing independent about the movement. It depends on all the elements, the whole creation, Ishwara. And that is what you see. Aham Krishna Sya Jagata Prabhava Pralayastata. The Bhagavan says, I am the Prabhava from which everything begins, Pralaya, where everything resolved. Matta Parataram Nanyat Kinchidasti. You know, there is nothing other than me. Nobody or nothing stands apart. You see that inseparable existence that you have. As even the country is here in every dust. But this little dust is not the country or the world or the universe. Ishwara here. Totality is here and now. But this much is not totality. That is where comes your comrade is Shakhatvam, one with the absolute, yet bhakti, devotion, with one body at our disposal. Ishwara, Samasti, the totality at our disposal, of which individual body, mind, inseparable part. So no sense of helplessness. But continued meditation. Always at rest with yourself. Just see that.
We see the importance of remembering yourself as part of an inseparable macrocosmic existence. Call it Samasti, Sarva, Ishwara, Shiva, anything you like, but recognizing that this tiny little body doesn't have an independent existence. Shall I name it as body or shall I name it as creation? Like Shall I name it as nose or shall I name it as the body? Shall I name a tiny cell as a cell or me? When I say me, the cell is included. The cell doesn't understand that it is me. But in me, the cell is included. But that cell by itself is not me, but it has a place. Same thing also. Understand that. No single entity, no microorganism, can exist without the macro. Understand? You must see that. 
a wave doesn't exist away from the ocean. Losing ourselves in the sight of the wave, if we ignore the presence of the ocean, then you shall be rejoicing with the birth of the wave, growth of the wave, but you shall be devastated with the death of the wave. But the wave has a birth, growth and death. But when you see the wave as part of the ocean, there is no birth, growth and death, but it's a continuous change. It becomes a lila, a dance, krida, a game. The ocean in its infinity mood. Same thing also in the visual body. Please observe that. It's not some type of philosophical speculation. You must recognize that. From the childhood, we are so much identified with this tiny little body, which is natural, what they call in Sanskrit, Sahaja Tadatmiya, a natural identity, because the child doesn't know about himself. Is he given a name? Come here means body comes, go there, body goes, run, body runs, hungry, body eats, so I am eating, I am running, I am growing. But as you grow up, you discover how strange it is that with the changing condition of the body, I seem to change. I am young, young body. I'm a child, child's body. I'm a young, you know, youthful. Body is now youthful. I'm an adult, body is an adult. I'm old, body is old. But the sense of being that remains the same. How many people have that leisureliness to appreciate this? How many people pause even for a second to appreciate that I'm identifying myself with something because of which there is a fear, just like your eyes. In the beginning stages, your eyes are bright, but too bright. Then manda becomes dull, 30th year, you can't see from a distance. Then andha, cataract comes in. And what the person says, I can see bright. I am eating dull. Oh, I'm See that? It three condition of the eyes. But that leads me from confidence to helplessness. If we appreciate these are the conditions of the eyes to be taken care of. Me always the same. Consciousness, awareness. So because of this solid identity from the childhood onwards, we consider ourselves separate from the creation, as though I am moving in this creation. But pause for a while and think, do you carry your personal space? How easily we are negotiating, moving around in the space, always forgetting. There is nothing called personal space. No personal air for you to have your own oxygen. There is no such thing. In the same trough, all of us are existing, part of the same cosmos. Same thing with heat. You don't have your personal fire. Heat. Water. Earth. Please see that. That is why there is a beautiful verse where Truhari writes, sometimes maybe time for me, see that where the wise man when he passes, in one of these satagam, he writes the last verse. The wise man in passes is expressing his gratitude at the moment of death. 
taking leave of this creation. How beautiful attitude. Bhrata me mata me dini, O Mother Earth. You had given this clay soil for me to be sustained. Thank you. The job is over. Please take it back. Bhrata vayuhu, a brother air. You helped me to breathe so long. Now I am going. Please take back your air. Same thing, brother. Like relatives, names he goes on giving. Evayu, he agni, fire, water, space. Thank you so much. As long as I was passing through this universe, all of you have been a great help. Now that my day is over, I am being with myself. Now please take it back. This is what an attitude. Other one, helpless, crying, oh, I am dying. You are not dying. You are continuously dying. Even while living means continuously dying. Body disintegrates, change takes place. So while looking at the wave, if you do not lose sight of the ocean, the wave changes. While looking at the wave, if you lose sight of the ocean, the wave dies. While playing with the body, playing with another body, if you do not miss Ishwara, changes. Leela Kaivalya. A dance going on, divine dance. But while looking at your body, looking at another body, you lose sight of Ishwara totality, it becomes a death. That is why you go on crying, being miserable. Appreciate. To maintain this awareness, Ishwara. To maintain this awareness, all times, all places, all conditions, you must read these verses again and again. Remind yourself again and again until it is effortless. Tadbudhaya, tadatmana, tannishtha, tadparayana. Tadbudhaya. In your buddhi, in your intelligence, this is the occupation. Tannishtha, abiding in that. Do you see this for yourself? It is so easy to fall back to limitation and therefore misery. In the presence of a happy man, you are very happy. By yourself, you become miserable. Or reading a book, you feel comfortable. That gone, back to your square one. Understand? Habit is a limitation. Limitation is a habit. Your sense of limitation is a habit. It is not true. Body has its limits, but you are not limited. The thoughts are their limits, just like your car. Your car goes in a particular speed. If you say you came 100 kilometers per hour, Nobody is stupid to believe you came 100 kilometers per hour. You drive a car which moves 100 kilometers. You are seated. You can fly a plane 1,000 kilometers per hour. You can fly a rocket maybe thousands of kilometers per hour. You are steady. Sometimes mind can be slow, mind can be very fast. Same thing also your body which forms the part of totality. The problem comes anytime, please appreciate. The moment individuality comes in, isolating itself from the totality, problem comes. In other words, whenever there is a problem, you have isolated yourself. If you go through a conflict, go through a confusion, going through a crisis, you have successfully isolated yourself from the totality. 
you cannot be in the body of god and suffer a sense of death understand you can be with yourself and be unhappy it doesn't work you can be uncomfortable understand that point you can be uncomfortable but you can't be unhappy remember that line so human discomfort can be caused so suddenly it becomes 45 degree 50 degree temperature you can't say it is so cool and nice discomfort 30 degree 20 degrees comfortable but your happiness doesn't depend upon this comfort and discomfort your happiness is yourself understand same thing when you relation to your physical body is part of the totality it doesn't stand apart it doesn't stand apart when you say ishwara that is why bhagavan beautiful that example gives mai protam idam sarvam sutre mani ganayav matta parataram nanyat kinchit asti dhananjay he dhananjay he arjuna matta parataram nanyat kinchit asti there is nothing other than me in me everything is sustained like sutre mani ganayav like one thread passing through the jewels holding it together passing through the flowers holding the garland together one thread of consciousness passing through the whole universe nobody is superior nobody is inferior relatively somebody younger depending on the body somebody is older depending on the body but this relative apparent conditions do not accept it as real absolute that is why there is no reason to be proud beautifully when he says buddhi i have already seen so many things buddhi buddhimatam asmi tejas tejasinam i am the brilliance of the brilliant i am the intelligence of the intelligent naturally therefore the individual has nothing to be proud of it takes away all that you consider as your that ownership is it taken away but the ignorant person has that ownership my intelligence ah uh-huh. you created like what way you are responsible for the shape of your kidney how are you responsible for the heart for your whole body what way you are responsible you find yourself with your body but you claim that body is you think of it until your first second third four year old also that idea was not there how much credit can you take for your own body anastha same thing also how much credit can you take for your intelligence it is there you made use of it just like physical bodies there all of us are born with the same type of body but somebody maintains it that little credit you can take for maintenance but even that credit also you cannot take because the possibility of maintenance is there you can create a muscle if the muscular possibility is not there you cannot create the six abs if the possibility is not there you cannot be a gymnast unless the possibility is there you cannot think unless that thinking possibility is there that is why no scientist no artist nobody can create something the possibility of which is already not existing we are continuously encountering possibilities that is why there is no arrogance of me creating encountering new new possibilities how brilliant it is just like in an adventurous journey as you are going into the mountain you take a turn another vista opens up did you create it is always there hidden from your eyesight 
but as you travel you are encountering it new new dimensions opens up you don't create those dimensions you only discover it your intelligence opens up emotions grow there is a growth in emotion physical body what did you create the physical body just a child and the body matures so many changes taking place what do you do for your physical body just think of it there is why no arrogance and whenever there is a little arrogance you get a knock on your head naturally it comes if you don't exist as an individual separate from totality there will be no fear no anxiety there is no fear no anxiety because complete the surrender is complete he alone is existing not a word to be bandied about not a word to be talked about you know like some people say oh everything only he will you will it and then you speak a stupid word he will or okay, if it is he will then why are you disappointed if it doesn't work <laughs> this is where it becomes so ridiculous the attitude of so called religious man of course the secular person who doesn't have any faith doesn't have any belief he gets it with full compound interest arrogance comes in i can do it there is a last straw comes in life you build the whole thing collapses suddenly life goes the person doesn't know what to do understand that recognition of the totality and that begins with the individual you start with yourself as you see yourself from the body to the bodiless awareness then you move into the samasti var bhagavan as he says i am the bijam mam sanatanam bijam iti vidhi no me as the ancient sanatana eternally fresh seed of this universe meaning there is nothing other than me having told this thus you see now you go on further talk, describing as you read it remember it continuously in life every moment is very very important so nice you know if you why you should remember you can ask me a question why should i remember so that you don't lose the perspective imagine simple thing how much example can i give you you go into a hotel they tell you remember your floor see the map which floor you are what is the exit which room you are why people get lost they lose perspective forget the hotel my this house they go in to see me they come back instead of coming in this gate they go start going that side lose perspective if this is the door i enter i shall come back through that just two three rooms in your house leave the chair some people uh, where uh, uh. you lose perspective same thing also this vastness you lose yourself your own body another body a man a woman husband wife child friend brother sister guru shishya nonsense all these things, you understand completely lose perspective losing yourself in a role that is where your confusion begins complete confusion you don't know how to get out of it understand you cannot get out of it there is a difference between your giving it up and you are forced to give up in a raghuvamsa it comes very nicely 
Kalidasa talks about Prince of Raghuvamsa, how these princes, they were growing up. Shaishave Aditya Vidyana, in childhood study. Yauvane Vishayishina, in youth enjoying the legitimate pleasures of life. Vardhakki Munivrittina, then withdrawing from the world in old, nearing old age. Ante yogena ante stanustyajam. Then at the end, giving up the body. Giving up the body. Tanustyajam. Giving up the body, yogena. Consciously giving up the body. There is a difference between your giving up the body and the body giving you up. Most of the time, you are given up in a relationship. You don't give up. You don't give up the alcohol until the alcohol kills you. <laughs> Just think of it. You don't give up a habit and the habit kills you. How many people dream, oh, I'm going to work? Everybody dreams. No. I'll work for 20 years, get some 20 lakhs of rupees, 20 million rupees, then I have to retire. The fellow never retires. I'll go to America, I'll go to London just for three years, stay there for two, three years, make little money, come back. Or see, they go there, get married, so that get it quickly two children, so that they become American citizens, then come back. They never return. Everybody talks. Go back, go back. Just have a functional relationship. Stuck. You are finished. Why? Unconscious, unconscious. Un you talk nonsense. You don't talk sense and live nonsense. You talk nonsense, live nonsense. Because while talking also, you don't know what you are talking. The person completely loses himself. Appreciate, please. Not losing the perspective. When you say, I, just like, listen carefully. When you say, I'm hungry, don't lose the perspective. Body is hungry. I say I'm hungry. I am hungerless. Body is hungry. You don't lose perspective. I'm sick. Nothing wrong. Your body is sick and you can't say to the doctor, body is sick, take care of the body. You know, nonsense. I'm sick. But you know it. I am immortal. Body is sick. Same perspective in relation to the creation. This body is sick. Part of the totality. He takes care. The sense of security is already existing. Yet, just like body is hungry. Hunger has to be taken care. Hunger is a disease. You have to take care of the hunger. This whole attitude becomes so beautiful. Hunger is a disease. Every day it comes thrice a day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Before that, disease. It's permanent disease with everybody. It comes thrice a day. And just like for medicine, like when a disease, when you are taking a medicine, do you take it the proper dosage or overdose? Overdose kills you, lesser dose kills you. Hunger. Eat how much? As much needed. Overeating kills you. Don't eat, kills you. Kshudvyadhicha chikishchadam. Kshudvyadhicha chikishchadam. Kshudvyadhi. Shankara is so beautiful, right? Kshudha is a vyadhi. It's like a disease. If you say, I am eating, I want to eat this only, only let do. Only sweet. I love this one. Are you treating the hunger of the body or hunger of the soul? The eye, the individual. Naturally, therefore, horizontal growth. High sugar, high blood pressure, high this, high this. Why? Think of this. Some people keep the body fit. Why? So they can eat better, live longer. Emotionally hungry. 
intellectually hungry that different types of hunger that also is a vyadhi physical hunger if you don't fulfill listen carefully physically hunger if you don't fulfill you shall die emotional hunger if you don't fulfill anybody dead i wanted little attention from my son he did not give therefore ooh. anybody died anybody dead because there is no emotional attention i could not pass matriculation therefore why he died did not pass matriculation therefore drop dead anybody <laughs> lucky because emotional intellectual satisfaction understand that say hunger which is insatiable insatiable understand you can never satisfy that those dreams relative happiness never ending unhappiness never ending absolute happiness ooh, that is why absolute knowledge happiness you can get but if you want a little sensation from the object you can't get it from every object all the objects will not be at with you at your disposal practical perspective you discover a seat yourself all the time that is why ishwara becomes so beautiful whatever comes yad ellava se nija karmo patam vittam tena vinoda chittam nija karmo patam ellava se whatever you have done whatever result comes tena chittam vinoda enjoy yourself all the no question of running more for more gunning for more desiring for more even if you want desire nothing wrong that comes now we shall see let us see that balam balavatam chaham kama raga vivarjitam beautiful even if you know how to desire bhagavan says i am the desire in other person balam balavatam chaham i am the strength what is that balam think of it samarthyam ojah which kama raga vivarjitam think is a amazing statement kama vivarjitam raga vivarjitam balam aham please look at it you have certain strength in life but that strength you can misuse if it is backed by kama backed by raga what is kama beautifully says asannikrushteshu trishna kama aprapteshu vishayeshu trishna kama whatever you don't have you have got a thirst for that object काम प्राप्तेशु विषयेशु रंजना राग ब्यूटीफुल यू नो इन द यू नो दिस थिंकिंग व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन काम एंड राग काम इज अप्राप्तेशु विषयेशु तृष्णा थिंग्स दैट यू डोंट हैव यू हैव अ थर्स्ट फॉर इट दैट इज काम आई मस्ट हैव इट प्राप्तेशु विषयेशु वट एवर यू हाव रंजन यू नो शोभना अध्यास यू शुड बी विथ मी ऑल द टाइम राग एंड युअर एंटायर सब मोस्ट पीपल इन्वेस्ट दे आर होल स्ट्रेंथ फिजिकल इमोशनल इंटेलेक्चुअल फॉर दीज टू भगवान से इज दैट टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ आई एम नॉट विद दैट स्ट्रेंथ विल टायर यू frustrate you when you work for something for yourself you very soon get exhausted please last working for start working for others and see how exhausted you feel never if your desire is to help people out oh my god never ending energy why this is the secret kamaraga vibarjitam balam is so sweet tireless you can be working for days and days and months and years at the end of it ooh, fresh like a flower 
emotionally you don't feel drained intellectually you don't feel dissatisfied physically you feel energized even if you are tired so what it's just like you can see in a uh, you can see in a relative example and a negative example your own son's marriage do you feel tired why enthusiasm full enthusiasm why because you feel happy suppose your son says mom you are wasting your time what are you doing all these things for i hate it all why did you fix that girl and try for working no why my son doesn't like me and how much is your enthusiasm when you're working for the child woo, looks like that but in reality you are working for yourself that's why you are tired exhausted people feel tired and exhausted all because kama raga anvitam not varjitam understand apraptesu trishna what you don't have thirst for it continuously dreaming i should have that i should have that why should i why i'll be happy that drains you out i'm a happy and i want it Huh? You'll never feel drained out <laughs> because it it begins with a fullness. It begins with a fullness. It never drains out. But when you're unhappy and therefore you want it, ah, oh, you are planting the seed of your total disappointment because either the things may not be available. or your interest wins away your interest goes away is another trouble either the object doesn't come or your own interest disappears you don't know what to do that is where people look for new new source of inspiration new new cause to get themselves involved because drained out drained out drained out whereas this wala this is why what do you call the strength the strength if you want to name it call it divine call it spiritual call it whatever you like balam e arjun i am the strength in that person who has no kama no ra kama raga vivarjitam there is no trishna no thirst for something nor prapteshu raga whatever is there must be always protected that is a dreamers dream whatever is there should be always there with me it will not your own youth doesn't stay with you your own body doesn't stay with you how do you expect somebody to stay with you your own body please keep it all at all times as it is no your own mind deceives you and you want other people to think exactly same way all times to come it doesn't work kama raga understand if you see this clearly kama vivarjitam raga vivarjitam whatever is there excellent for such people balam i am the strength true dharma viruddha bhuteshu kamosmi varadarshaba usually what you say ha kama kama is a bad thing desire lust passion you know all that thing is very bad look at what bhagavan says aham kamosmi i am the desire i am the passion in individual ha huh, not bad backed by another statement dharma viruddha bhuteshu kamosmi i am the passion in him i am the desire in him who is dharma viruddha bhuta whose passions desires doesn't go against the harmony of the universe dharma aviruddha is amazing there is no personal desire that is even there is no personal desire your desire is like the desire of the god it fulfills itself it fulfills itself in the mundoka upanishad when i come you shall see that atmagyam archayet bhuti kama 
bhuti kama if your desire is a prosperity may you worship a wise man is a prasansa atmagyam janati ti gya atmanam janati atmagya one who knows himself to such a person bhuti kama archayit you are desirous of immortality i am mean desirous of prosperity worship him why if he is pleased sabaja thought passes let him be fine it will be fine why because it is not his thought it is god's thought passes he is not there to say when the the father says or the mother listen carefully when the father or the mother or the child or the friend or a lover beloved somebody like this says everything will be fine it is fully your desire that is why it doesn't work i bless my son my daughter my husband my wife my father mm. i i wish them all the best that wishes may or may not work because individuality is there behind it it may happen may not happen because a father is willing dreaming for the child mother is dreaming for the child therefore he shall say oh everything will be fine but he deep within he knows it may or may not happen same thing also when you are angry somebody cheats you therefore you get cursed this will happen to you nothing will happen why frustrated individual shouting it will not happen but suppose it's like a person is a wise man there is no no individuality there he is pleased he is pleased means what something is not that somebody pleasing him somebody displeasing him no he recognizes something genuine situation a thought passes is like divine thought like shankara was walking down begging the mother comes out of the house getting a amalaka a gooseberry pickle she says son i have nothing in this world your brahmachari you have come here i have nothing take this one the sincerity of the thing is so moving he sings the glory of mother lakshmi and then swarna amalaka the golden goose very good very false why not that he will it you get touched by somebody's sincerity when somebody's sincerity touches you that is why you don't uh, uh, unasked you don't bless you know in a uriya language they say that which is sanskrit based like jachi kalyana magi oliki meaning jachi means you uh, uh, unnecessarily go on blessing people no god bless god bless you know some people are there like that and demanding respect magi oliki demanding why is not prostrating to me some jokers are like that everybody must mark attendance before going for what why are you expecting the fellow expects to be respected but he never respects anybody how great something also even we were god bless god bless god bless who is asking you a blessing blessing must be asked and even if it is asked also the person doesn't get it why when you see the disposition the person takes it away you don't bless him are you getting it is like your child and a mother some children are so cute they take away all the attention from mother not that the mother discriminates between two children or three children mother loves everybody but there will be one fellow so naughty he takes away everything from him all the attention he takes away the other one uh, sitting in one corner not that he hates that baby no but he takes away same thing also when somebody is sincere it goes automatically taken away blessings are received 
ಯು ಮೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎ ಪಾತ್ರ ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟಾಗಲ್ ಸೊ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಅವಿರುದ್ಧ ಭೂತ್ ಸೊ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ವೆನ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲಿಟಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಡ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಅವಿರುದ್ಧ ಭೂತ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಈಸ್ ಓ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಹೇ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಂಬಡಿಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಗಾಡ್ ಗೀವ್ ಮೀ ದಟ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಹೌ with that you know it's like people go for you know uh, oh god please see that i get a promotion listen god i should get a promotion what does it mean your prayer involves you know what your boss should be either transferred or dead for me to get a promotion for me to get the promotion what should happen either the boss should be transferred or should be dead but he doesn't want that he also wants to stick to that place that is why what shall god do now your son's marriage he wants sunlight the other fellow is a farmer he has put the seed he wants rain what does god do <laughs> that is why he doesn't do anything simply <laughs> totally simply sitting there hey, don't worry about it it's okay let everybody tell their story and go he smiles He listens ah yes 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 no no please look at yourself what type of when you the moment you desire something is a personal something or the personality doesn't exist if there is no personality individuality is not there you are happy with yourself oh it gets fulfilled just like that you can't believe that is why if you are a person like that careful what you desire because the thought comes it may happen it's so beautiful that's why you don't feel even you don't even talk about it because why talk about it so you see it every moment yourself dharma viruddha bhutesh kamos and if it is dharma viruddha god doesn't suffer you suffer understand if it dharma aviruddha everybody enjoys if it dharma viruddha you suffer first others may or may not understand okay i have been told this then further continues ye chaiva satvika bhava ha ರಾಜಸಾಸ್ತಾಮಸಾಶ್ಚೇತಿಗುಣಮಯೈರ್ಭಾವ ಜಗತ್ ಮೋಹಿತ ನಾಭಿಜಾತಿ ಮಾಮೇಭ್ಯ ಪರಮ್ಯಾತ್ವಿಕಾವ ರಾಜಸಾಸ್ತಾಮಸಾಶ್ಚೇತಿಹಂತು ಮಯಿ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಮೈರ್ಭಾವ ಜಗತ್ ಮೋಹಿತ ನಾಭಿಜಾತಿ ಮಾಮೇಭ್ಯ ಪರಮ್ಯ ಅಲ್ಸೋ ಹೇ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಪ್ಲೀಸಿ ಏಚೈವ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ ಭಾವ ರಾಜಸ ಭಾವ ತಾಮಸ ಭಾವ ye matta eveti tan vidhi all these three different dispositions 
सात्विक राजसिक सत्वनिवृत्त रजस निवृत्त तमस निवृत्त द थ्री डिफरेंट मैनिफेस्टेशंस व्हिच यू सी इन द वर्ल्ड सत्व व्हिच इज लाइक सत्व गुण प्रधान और द ज्ञान प्रधान और यू शैल सी ब्राइटनेस ब्रिलियंस ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल कम एलाबोरेटली इन फोर्टीन चैप्टर वेन ए गुणत्र विभाग यो यू कैन सी दैट टाइम व्हाट आर द मैनिफेस्टेशंस बट जस्ट फॉर द टाइमिंग यू सी ए डिस्पोजिशन वेर समबड़ी सात्विक डिस्पोजिशन ब्राइट ब्रिलियंट कॉन्शियस काइंड कंपैशनेट सत्व सत्य सत्व डिस्पोजिशन देन देर इज समबड़ी राजसिक डिस्पोजिशन राजसिक डिस्पोजिशन रेस्टलेस आजिटेटेड ऑल द टाइम राजसिक डिस्पोजिशन दलसो काम क्रोध राग दोष फुल ऑफ पैसन हेट जेलसी हेटरेड ऑल दिस रिमेन्स कंटिन्युअस ऑलवेज डिस्टर्बिंग द पर्सन यू नो आई वन थिंग दिस राजसिक डिस्पोजिशन इज द कंपेरिजन कंट्रास्ट देर फोर यू कैनॉट ए वर्क आउट ऑफ जेलसी The jealousy is a very, very stupid rajasik disposition. You know what is jealousy? Simple, para gune dosa darshanam. Jealousy is such a meaningless nonsense. They call it green-eyed monster. Para gune shu dosa darshanam. When you are jealous, in somebody's good thing, you shall see something wrong. Like suppose somebody is very charitable, giving something, you can't do it, but you want to destroy it. What is it? Ah, enough black money. Why will you not give? Oh, so if you have black money, will you give? Are you capable of creating some black money? The person never thinks of himself, but immediately dosa darshanam, para gune dosa darshanam. Somebody become very successful in life. Ah, that is a godfather helps him out. Immediate dismissal. That is a godfather. Or else you think this idiot can come? That means what? If I can't come, he, how can he come up? Hi, oh. Can you get out of that? Think for yourself. Do you first ask yourself? Do you have it? Not that everybody is like that. How do you get out of this? When you enjoy other people's enjoyment be happy with other person's happiness or discover clearly as bhagavan says later on 10 chapter it will say like he says you know buddhi buddhi mata i am the brilliance in the brilliant i am the intelligent the intelligent so be grateful yet yadyat vibhuti mat satvam shri madurjitam eva tattadeva gachatam mama tejon sa sambhavam hey arjuna wherever you see any vibhuti any brilliance it is mine so be a devotee If somebody is brilliant, thank God. It's a fantastic expression. That man sings. Oh boy, he really sings well. Appreciates everybody's quality as it is. Not immediate, but the, uh, the, the inferiority complex ridden person is what? If somebody sings well, I can't sing well. Ha! Huh? What is so big deal? He singing? Ha! Huh? <laughs> Then you born yourself. Somebody speaks well. Somebody sings well. somebody dances well somebody is a brilliant student somebody is a scientist somebody is a you know musician magician whatever somebody can do something somewhere enjoy why i may not be able to do it somebody does i don't know how to sing like a kuku do i not enjoy the kuku the koil is singing do i get jealous of kuku then why be jealous of another individual who sings like a kuku Am I jealous of the lotus? You enjoy the fragrance. Ooh, very nice. So somebody is also nice person. Gun gunas are there. Nice fragrance. Oh, beautiful. Can you be a person like that? No. Everything I must do. I must achieve. It's like the mother-in-law, daughter-in-law story. Once the mother-in-law was, uh, you know, there was a beggar coming into the street, and the 
daughter-in-law says, go. Because daughter-in-law has seen, mother-in-law, whoever comes, they must go. So mother-in-law says, po, po, po. So daughter-in-law also got trained, go. Then the mother-in-law saw that. He calls back the beggar, come, come. And the beggar was very happy. This young lady is very arrogant, doesn't give me anything. Now this older lady will give. Now he comes and the mother-in-law says, now go, there is nothing here. He says, what is this? She wants to assert her authority, that she should tell her to go, not, she, not the daughter-in-law should say. You know, some people are like that. I must say. If somebody says, oh, that's wrong. If you say, oh, that's right. Huh. Others do, wrong. You do, oh, it's cool. That fellow Swami, you know, always smoking. Uh, then yourself, and leisureliness. <laughs> Somebody drinks, drunkard. You drink, unwinding a little. Oh, unwinding. <laughs> it's so subtle, you cannot believe. Other people fall in love, what do you say? Womanizer, manizer, some nonsense. You do it? Romantic. Romantic. I have got full, you know, full of romance inside me. Oh, what are other people doing? Oh, she's a manager. It's a new word, huh? Womanizer. <laughs> what? If other people do, it's all wrong. If you do, oh, it's cool. Cool. Think. See for yourself, see for yourself. This guna, this is why it is. Rajasik, restless disposition. Anger, hatred, jealousy, all these things. Tamasik fellow is what? Paralyzed by these emotions. <laughs> totally paralyzed. So much of anger cannot do anything. It's the culmination. So much of jealousy, one mood takes over, thereafter, like a sthanu. In a Tamil Nadu, you can't go. You know, like a lamppost. Come here. Uh, one thought is gone into his head. Nobody cares for me. Nobody loves me. Some nonsense. That disposition. Thamasik. Only food time, little opens his mouth. Yes. Thamasik. People are like that? No. All the people have all the three. Sometimes you are sattvic, sometimes you are rajasic, sometimes tamasic. Depends. Sometimes you are coming under the spell of all these three. Coming under the spell of one, spell of all the three, anything, it can happen. Any possibility, any permutation, combination. The same person who behaves like a sage, the same fellow behaves like a criminal in another moment. So active, another person so dull. <sighs> Understand? Today, in a brain surgery, you know, brain, you know, neuro, what is that, uh, neurology and other things, they talk about all because of chemicals, 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 chemicals. It may be true, listen carefully. But if you can consciously deal with your mind, you can bring the chemicals which are needed. Instead of chemicals overtaking you, you can invoke your mind. If you consciously, so they say right side of the mind is brain gives you, oof. Now if you can be consciously restful, you control your left side of your brain. If you allow the left side of the brain to take over, your eyes are the brain is disturbed, meaning you are always disturbed. Will you be subservient to a machine or you shall help the machine? Use the machine. If you go on telling, you know, guna is only making him crazy like that, so it's like telling one chemical makes a person psychopath. Therefore, poor thing. Poor thing. Chemical secretion makes somebody like that. 
yes chemical secretion may be there but the control comes from you but that time i lose control that is what exactly you have to be trained to be not that the wise person doesn't have any chemical secretion everybody has the same physical body same type of mechanism it happens to everybody hunger comes to everybody somebody controls somebody doesn't control same thing thoughts is happens to everybody agnyasya vigyasya cha vishwam asti for the ignorant as well as the wise for both the world exist one takes it to be real other knows is apparent bas thoughts also like that so guna is also like that all the guna will be there so don't brand yourself satvik rajasik tamasik no satva raja e arjuna these three are there matta eva tan vidhi this all the three comes from me aham teshu i am in them te na mai they are not in me that is why even in spite of the gunas i am nirguna parabrahm gunas are there but bhagavan does not become a guni nirguna one who identifies the guna becomes a guni are you getting that point identifies the guna body is there this thing simple body is there if you identify the body defining difficult okay there is a post understand how much can i say there is a post if you don't understand because so natural to identify the body all right there is a post is it the post is you or you are occupying the post for some time you are occupying the post you are appointed manager managing director appointed what do you feel how these people behave in this world the fellow who is appointed the post he thinks he is the post political positions why do they stick like the ant to the sweet have you seen that big ant to cut holes on the sweet the half of the body will come the fellow will not leave the sweet <laughs> the half the body will come away but the fellow sticks to the sweet same how people position sticking to the position cannot walk but he must be prime minister he must be chief minister he must be governor he must be chairman of the company only in these places even religious organizations who oh, dilapidated guru but he must control everything why don't you give it to the youngster and die anywhere please understand it doesn't matter just because a religious person doesn't make you special you can be as stupid as anybody else wisdom has nothing to do with secular or religion you can be, be wise choose your secular disposition choose your religious disposition you choose life becomes absolutely high profile so beautiful so identifying please so there is a position you identify the position then you feel bad same thing also body that the body is there is not a problem identification is a problem same thing thoughts gunas sattva rajas tamas this is goal for everybody but he is nirguna not guni okay but then that is god he is himself aware of it our is person comes under the spell of it trivigunamair bhave evi trivigunamair bhave hi idam jagat sarvam mohitam the jagat sarvam the whole universe comes under the spell of these three gunas meaning thereby especially human kind human beings we are talking about human beings because the animals trees others you don't want to talk about it human beings human beings shall you worried about all the beings coming under the spell of it or you coming under the spell of it a simple example when it is raining are you worried everybody is drenched or you are drenched no i everybody must be given the umbrella how do you know do you know how to protect yourself no then how are you going to protect somebody first you are getting drenched do you know how to protect yourself yes then hold an umbrella on your head and give everybody one one umbrella no problem 
exactly like that you want to save people from the spell of the gunas first you save yourself from the spell of the gunas three gunas will be there mohitam coming under the spell of it mohitam na abhijanati completely abhivegatam apaditam mohitam abhiveg it become has because of the ignorance under the spell of it has lost is discrimination why perspective is lost doesn't know about himself but takes it into the body once you take it to the body your perspective is lost identify with your role your perspective is lost that is why people want to give a judgment they must be very objective the roles must drop if your son is in the duck that judge is not allowed to pass the judgment because you'll be biased you want to make a perfect judgment your personal interest must not be there understand coming under the spell of a guna how are you going to see the nirguna with a dark glass can you see the thing as it is with a dark glass on can you see things as it is remove the glass see things then put on the dark glass why come comfort choice these three gunas oh beautiful these three gunas are like three different glasses in your packet you use whichever one you like because sometimes it's nice to be tamasic or else how are you going to sleep sometimes it's nice to be rajasic or else how are you going to be active sometimes it's very nice to be sattvic why we are contemplative all the gunas are needed in the uh, uh, um, pantheon this is vishnu i mean uh, vishnu is sattvic just maintain it brahma is rajasic because creation shiva is tamasic because changes destroys full of activity destruction they say that not that they are tamasic rajasic no it's not like that creativity the vishnu sattva all the three are needed who is better all the three are one and the same ya brahma sa brahma sa vishnu sa hari sa akshara paramaswara sa brahma sa shiva sa hari all one and the same sometimes you have to be creative sometimes you have to be restive crazy restless sometimes restful so many is which guna is bad or good as we have seen clearly friends ha eh? see that nothing by itself is a blessing or a curse depends on you money doesn't take you to pub you take the money to pub shall you curse the money for it you over eat shall you blame the food for it you take the food rightly and we good health shall you praise the food for it you complete responsibility on yours you 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 play the game and when is that you means what so when is you you take that responsibility first understand about yourself who you are then your perspective is clear i am this now the god takes over your desires are also backed by divinity all your action is worship every action is worship no more worshiping an action as a person free in life or others run three big guna here all the coming under the spell of the three gunas na abhijanati mam ebhya param mam abhyam na abhijanati e arjuna coming under the spell of these three gunas mam na abhijanati atmanam na abhijanati mam na abhijanati doesn't know himself and therefore does not know me when he comes under the guna three gunas the person does not recognize himself when he doesn't recognize himself how is he going to recognize me a drunken person who does not know does not is not aware of himself will he recognize others very good example the fellow is drunk completely drunk and going on 
He can't go to his own house. Can he show you the path to your houses? <laughs> drunk. That is the person who is drunk under the spell of a role. I am the guru. Eh? And I am the religious man. That is his little identity. He is going to show the identity. I have been a path to other people. What? A drunken person cannot give the, show the direction to others. Cannot. Mohitam Atmanam na vijanati. Therefore, Maam na vijanati. Doesn't know himself. Therefore, hey Arjuna, does not know me. What shall we do therefore? We shall see in the afternoon. Read the verse. Daivi Hesha Gunamai Mama Maya Duratyayam Mame Vaye Prapadyante Maya Metam Tarantite We'll see in the afternoon, but just to kill your curiosity, how to get out of it. Mami vai prapadyante. Those who know me, they go out of the spell of these gunas. Maya, understand, gunas do not go away, but the spell passes. It's like the rope is lying. You saw a snake. Now you know more see a snake. The rope doesn't disappear. You created the snake, the snake goes from you. Misunderstanding means what? <laughs> Misunderstanding means what? Misunderstanding goes means what? You saw something which was not there. Now that goes away. Other thing is as it is always. You see Ishwara as it is, these things are there, but don't affect you. You do not see yourself, do not see God, then these things, confusion always begins. Therefore, a Arjuna, now that the theme is about Ishwara, Mame Vaya Prapadyante, those who come to me, they come to, they are free from this. And what is the way to come to me? Through them. When a person knows himself, knows Ishwara, gets out of the three. We shall see more of it.